Welcome back to EDU 90. I'm Tim, and on this episode, we'll explore a few updates from Google for Education. Stick around for news on product trainings, the celebration of a decade of Chrome, and more. We're excited to have you join us. And now, on to the updates. Earlier this month, we celebrated Chrome's 10th birthday. Chromebooks were first introduced to schools in 2011 as part of a pilot program. And now, more than 40 million students use Chromebooks, and they were the number one device in K-12 education globally for the last year. To celebrate a decade of Chromebooks, we announced more than 40 new devices for schools and shared news about features like the screen capture tool and support for up to eight desks. Check out the blog post linked below to get all the details. In February, we kicked off our seven-week product training series covering Google Workspace for Education and Chrome. These trainings are demo-based and succinct, just 30 minutes. If you're looking to sharpen your skills, take a look through the remaining sessions and register. You can also explore recordings of previous sessions on our series site. As part of the Learning with Google event last month, we shared stories from schools around the world that are using Google tools in their classrooms. From Mississippi to Italy to Japan, check out the ways that these schools are meeting the moment and reimagining what teaching and learning can look like. Find them all in the playlist linked in the video description below. Feedback from schools is at the core of every single new feature that's developed for our tools. Simply put, our products could not be as helpful as they are without the valuable input from educators worldwide. To that end, we're working hard to launch new features later this year. And if you're interested in Google Workspace for Education early access programs, please fill the form linked in the video description to share your interest in testing these new features. That's all the time we have for this episode, but we'll be back next month with more news. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel and click the bell to get notified of new episodes. We'll see you next time. We recently hosted the Learning with Google global online event. Check out our last episode where we look at highlights from the announcements we shared across all your favorite tools.